Hi everyone, Letty here. Today we have another budget savings video. I'm gonna do round nine of the penny challenge. I've got some new freebies. I have some recent happy mail and we're doing another round in the summer binder. Welcome back everyone. So today we're gonna to be working on the penny challenge. I have another round that we're gonna be adding to this penny challenge is from Hey K Budgets. So stay tuned for that. And then I also do have some happy mail, some items that I had ordered from Lil's World uh, 733 on Etsy. She's also on YouTube, Lil's. Hey Lil's. Um, so I will be opening up this, but I'm gonna wait till the very end and I'll, sh I'll open up this mail right before I jump into my summer binder. And so I also have a round of money that we'll be stuffing into my summer binder. So I'm gonna put these two things aside for now. Let's jump into the penny challenge. But before we do, I do just want to make a quick little mention. I do have some new freebies out on my Kofi shop. And so we're out in my Kofi shop. So make sure you, you uh, check that out if you haven't. The link is down below. So these first four that I've shown are for their member exclusive. So if you sign up to be one of my digital tier members, which is $5 a month, you get uh, unlimited access to any of these exclusive uh, challenges here. And so these are the ones that I've dropped for this week. Um, and so these are some of the new ones, just a ton of really fun savings. And then if you are not a member and you just really want some, some, uh, great free freebies, these will be, um, also available and these are completely free. And so we've got a roll and save, and then we've got a $30 with numbers. You could put print it and then put some stickers on them. And then we've got a $24 savings and another $24 in different amounts. I tried to stay as low dollar as I could just so that way we could have some like quick wins as we go into the end of the year. There's going to be a lot of, of uh, expenses coming up and a lot of sales and a lot of things. And so my goal is to give you some quick wins to kind of really kind of keep us all motivated. And so that's what I've done. Again, these are completely free for everybody. If you are a a member on my um, my digital tier then you can also grab the rest of these and so I give you some options here as well some actual savings challenges and then also some roll and saves and so you see there like the freebie has I have the opposite on the member so that way you have all four if you are the member uh, a membership uh, tier member so anyway that's what's available in my coffee shop I just dropped this I think late yesterday so that make sure you check that out the link will be listed down below you can click on it and then you can go in and select whatever you'd like, okay? So that's one thing. So let's dive into our penny challenge. Again, this is a challenge by Hey K Budgets. She has this as a freebie on her Google Drive. The way that it works is it goes from a penny in increments of a penny all the way up to $3.60. Once you've saved all of the little dots on all three of these challenges, you'll end up have, saving a total of $649.80. So I have been working the last several rounds uh, to try to knock out as many of these little dots as I can. I've sort of plundered my change stash that I've been hoarding for years and years. We've just about gone through that change that I had on hand. So now I'm sort of getting a little creative with where I'm finding my change looking in like old purses and drawers and things like that um but i've already filled up one entire jar here you can see and a lot of it's silver a lot of quarters and things and then i've also started a second jar and i am just about done i think it goes to about right there when it's kind of standing up there is a lot more pennies in that jar, jar, uh, jar but still a ton a ton of change and then i've also gotten to where i'm adding in some uh like cash, cash money. And so I've started to do that as well. And my goal moving forward, even though I've run out of, just about run out of my change, I still want to contribute at least $30 per week just to really try to knock this out. Um, and so I do have my cash, my $30 here. I do also have 31 cents in pennies for today. Here is what we're gonna do today. So for round nine, this is actually round nine. My goal for today is to, we've already taken care of the first page. We're gonna go ahead and take care of 172 all the way to 184. When you add up all of those dots, it equals $23.14. Now, instead of doing a whole nother row, just I knew I would go over my $30 limit or approximately $30. And so what I wanted to do was then move into the third page and knock out a couple of these big numbers. You have 358, 359, those two together equal $7.17. When you add up those two dots, 
and all of these dots right here to finish out those two rows, we get $30.31. So I've got $30 in cash, 31 cents in pennies. That will be our penny challenge for today. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and just speed through this process and I will go ahead and color in all of the dots that we're gonna be finishing today, which is again, 172 to 184, and then these two dots down here. So let me go ahead and just quickly color through this and then we'll deposit our money into our jar or into our container and we'll go ahead and transition over into our summer binder and our happy mail. Okay, so I've colored in all of my dots. You see here, I've now gone up to 184. So we just have about half, actually less than half of that one left. We totally finished that first page. And then on that third page, we've added a couple more dots on the very bottom row, which is our highest values. So that's where we're looking, at least for right now, through round nine. So this is up until round nine. Okay. So again, I have my $30 in cash and my 31 cents in change. I'm going to go ahead and put my $30 in cash into my box and let's see how much cash we have. And then we'll drop the pennies into our jar. So it looks like for cash, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and one, two, three, a hundred and three dollars. Now, at some point, um, I probably will end up transferring this back to our account and maybe have a separate account for it specifically um, and put a placeholder in here just so I don't have to have a bunch of cash. Uh, on hand at home um, and I because I'm a, a digital budgeter and so I'd rather just have it in our account maybe making a little bit of money in interest than just sitting around so that's where we're at $103 there let's go ahead and move this 31 cents into this jar Okay, so now our jar is ready as well. I've mentioned this before, I recycle these bags. I just wrote on it with a dry erase marker so I could easily erase it and reuse it. So that's where we're at for our penny challenge. Again, today we saved $30.31, knocked out a few more rows and maybe a few more dots on our penny challenge today. So far from rounds one through nine, what I've saved so far between these two jars and this little container is $256.23. That is amazing. That's a ton of money. We are more than a third of the way along on this challenge of saving the $649.80. Um, so I think that's just so super fun. Again, if you want this freebie, this one's from Hey K Budgets. I'll link Kay's YouTube channel down below so you can go check her out and get access to this one and join us for everyone else who's join doing this penny challenge right now as well. So that's amazing. Let me go ahead and clear this off and we'll transition into our Happy Mail and our summer binder. Okay, so let me show you real quick what I had purchased from Lil's World 733 Lil's. She has a YouTube channel and a Etsy shop as well. I'll link her YouTube channel down below and that way you can click on her link in her videos uh, to get to her shop just in case she has a special direct link. Um, and so thank you so much Lil's for getting this out. Um, she was trying to support her fiance who had just had an accident, had to pay off, I think they're deductible. And so if you, um, are, are interested in any of these things or more, please go over and support Lil's. Um, she's trying to help her fiance right now. And so um, let me just show you what I did purchase. So, and then what she sent me. So I purchased three big challenges or three regular size challenges here. We have, where's the tree at? I thought this would be perfect for my uh, Christmas binder. I think it's just so super cute. What I love is that it's actually double-sided. That is really adorable. So, so adorable. So this will go into my Christmas binder, which I will have a Christmas binder video coming out in the next couple of days. I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna be able to do two videos for Christmas each month, I think. And so what I'll do is I'll do a larger amount of cash stuffing into those binders, but I'll probably do it about twice a month. And so this coming weekend or, or in the next couple of days will be my very first Christmas video. So stay tuned for that. So that will go into there, super cute bills. And then I also got this one. This one's pumpkin spice calories don't count. I thought this was so cute. Um, I. I am going to be transitioning from this summer binder into a fall binder next month. And so this is definitely going into my fall binder. And this one's also double-sided. Look how pretty. 
And then I had to get this one, so stinking cute. So this is the uh, one of the little Hello Kitty Halloweens uh, editions. And so this one's a save 25. And this is also double-sided, look at that. It's really thick, it's laminated, really great quality. So I can't wait to stick this into my Halloween binder. And so the very next time I showcase my Halloween binder, which will probably be, in a, again, another few days, uh, I'll definitely have Lil's Challenge already in there, labeled, everything ready to go. So those are the three challenges that I purchased that I will be adding into my upcoming binder lineup. So we've got our Christmas binder, our fall binder, and our Halloween binder, okay? So that's what I purchased, so super cute. Here's what Lil's threw in as a freebies. So a super cute IOU, Hello Kitty, that's gonna be perfect for this challenge. I'm gonna definitely throw this into my Halloween binder. I think it's just so stinking cute. And then she did throw in two little tinies and they are laminated, really thick, durable material. So stinking cute. Look at that one with the little sushis and then the little juice boxes. So stinking cute. And then um, she also did throw in this one as well as a thank you. It's just a, uh, like a Polaroid um, savings challenge, like a happy mail kind of savings challenge printed out on photo paper. So, so, so pretty. So again, thank you so much, Lils. And again, if you have not checked out Lils, make sure you do so. I will link Lils YouTube channel down below and then definitely go and check out her Etsy shop so you can see if there's anything that you'd love to, great, uh, love to get to help support her as well. And so that's Lils World 733. So that's our happy mail. Okay, so let's dive into our summer binder. This originally started out as a patriotic binder, which is why I have it very patriotic theme decorated here. Um, and over time, I have sort of transitioned into a um, summer binder um, because it, I'm in Texas. If you're not familiar, I am in Austin, Texas, but I'm in Texas and it's very hot. In fact, uh, I was out shopping earlier and it was in the 90s. So even though we're already in the middle of September, it is still very hot here. Um, and so I plan to do this binder through at least the end of this month. And then whatever I don't finish, I likely will transition over either into another binder or just sort of try to separately manually, you know, try to complete the challenge. But I'm really going to push to complete almost everything if I can in this week and next week, because that'll be pretty much the end of this specific binder until next year. So um, here's the first challenge that I have. This one is by Trisha, who is Wild Everest. She's on Etsy. I do not believe she has a YouTube channel. Um, this was just this gorgeous challenge that I had purchased from her Etsy shop. It's $55. So we've had definitely some spicy numbers that have come up, but that would be expected with six scratchers and getting to $55. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, scratch one, maybe even two, depending. So we can definitely try to work towards finishing this one up. So um, let me go ahead and scratch one. Oh, we got a five. That one's a good one. That one's a really low one. So that's our $5. Um, I'm going to do another one. So I let's see if we have two tens close to each other. To each other. We had a nine. Okay, so that's not too, too bad. That's still pretty good. So right there, we have $14. Um, I think, oh, and by the way, I'm starting with $60 in prop money. I do use prop money. I think I've definitely mentioned this on previous videos uh, because I budget electronically and it just saves me from going back and forth to the bank. Um, this is some that I purchased on Amazon. I have a link down below in case you're interested. In fact, I have links for all of the different little products that I use today. So 14, let me do this. Let me go ahead and um, let me just put in the 14 for now. And then what we'll do is if we get a chance to come back to this one, I certainly will because I, I want to try to set myself up to, success, to succeed and get this one pretty much cleared away by, uh, by, by the end of this next week so I can try to clear this out by the end of the month. So let me just quickly... Okay, and I've mentioned this before, I don't scratch off my entire sticker because I peel them off. Just like the, you see here, there's no sticker at all. I'll come back and I'll peel this off. I totally just forgot to peel off the other one. But let's see how much we have in our uh, challenge envelope now for this one. We had started with 20. So now we have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 dollars out of 55 dollars. So we are well on our way. I think it's totally doable for us to be able to knock this one out by next week. So we'll see uh, how much is left, probably some bigger numbers on these last three scratchers. 
Um, so then the next uh, challenge that I have is from Ali Bear Budgets. And this one was a digital in her shop. This was a super cute patriotic digital set that I had purchased. And so what it is, is it's a roll and save. So I'm going to basically roll a number to see what I get. And that's the number that I will end up saving. Last week, you saw I did an entire row. I think I'm going to try to do an entire row this week again. And then that way next week, I can do the final row and be completely done with this challenge. So I have my little dice tower here. I have my dice. I'm just going to go ahead and roll it. I got a two. So let's go ahead and mark off a two. And I think I'll do the whole row and then I'll figure out the money because I know I have plenty of money to cover since we just started. Five. So we're at $7. Six. That's a little spicy. So we're at 13. And a three. Oh, that's good. That's 15. So it's perfect. Okay. So we are actually, that's not 15. That is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, $16. Okay, so we are at $16 um, for this challenge. Let me go ahead and put this aside. And we'll go ahead and take off the $16 and then see how much we have total. And next week we'll finish out the last row, okay? So let me go ahead and take out the $16. So a 10, a five, and a one. And let's see what we have so far on this one. This one's a roll and save. So you really don't know how much you're going to end up saving until you get to the very end. And so I'm a little excited to see what we have so far. So, so far we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52 dollars already saved into this one. That is amazing. This was just a little digital. Again, I got it from Ali Bear Budgets. Alex, I'll link Alex's YouTube channel down below. You can get over to her Etsy shop for that. And then the next one that we have is, there were some freebies but from GNL Budgeting Bestie, so Lissandra. Um, and so I, this was one that was on her, originally on her like Google Drive, but then she moved over to Kofi. So she does have a Kofi shop now. And I believe I saw this one was in there. Um, so definitely check out Lissandra. She's GNL Budgeting Bestie. She got together with her buddy Glow, who's Glow Budgets. I'll link both of their YouTube channels down below and you can go ahead and check that out. This one came with a set of twos, threes, and fours. I think I'm going to have to hold off on the fours because I only have the rest of this month to tackle this, but I definitely want to tackle these stars here. So I've already done all of the twos. I think we're going to finish off the threes this month and then we'll go ahead and call it and we'll save these for next year. Um, and so what I want to do is because I am a little lower on funds right now, let me just take tackle these, these two threes right here. And then next week, what we'll do is we'll tackle the last three. Okay. So I'll be sure to make sure either I have plenty of money to cover or we'll tr strategically sort of sort our money to make sure that this one does get done so we've got six dollars here let me go ahead and mark off the two three dollar hearts just like that and so all we have left is nine dollars on this one but we again we've already saved a ton from this other challenge as well so let's see how much we have total in this envelope now when i add in the six dollars Okay, so we've got 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42 dollars so far from those two challenges. We'll be adding an extra nine, so that's gonna be an amazing savings that we'll be able to add into our envelope for the end of the month that will then get applied towards our sinking funds. So that's what we have for this one. Again, GNL Budgeting Besties, I'll link Lissandra's YouTube channel down below. So then the next one that I have is the Birthday Bash Color and Save. This one is by Hey K Budgets. She released a set of three freebies. And so you get all three of these freebies over on her Google Drive. We have been working on this birthday color and save. Now you're probably thinking, well, birthday is really not summer, but my birthday was in the summer. So my birthday was in July. And so that's why I had thrown this one in. Hey K, by the way, Hey K Budgets, this is the same person uh, who created that penny challenge that we did at the beginning of the video. So definitely check her out. You can get the penny challenge and you can get this birthday color and save or this birthday trio right here that you're seeing here. So I, since we have two more sets of six dollars here and here I, and we have two more weeks left i'm gonna not knock out this set right here this week and this set next week so let me go ahead and take out also six dollars and we're gonna go ahead and color in these uh these last this last row here but only on half of it so let's do this one this one and this one okay so we are well on our way. We've got six left over here and that will finish out that challenge. And that's, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Let's add in our $6 into our challenge here. Let's see what we have left over or what we have total now. Okay, so we have 
20, 25, 27, 29, 30 dollars. So we've got 30 dollars here set it already saved for this challenge. We're going to finish it out with these last six and we'll make 36 dollars on that challenge and it'll go into our bag for month end sinking funds. So now let's move on to the next one. This next one is by Beijing Girl Budgets, uh, Kimmy over on, uh, on YouTube, Beijing Girl Budgets. I will uh, link Kimmy's channel down below. And so she released this set of monthly freebies. I had the July one in here and then I have the August one. I had set each watermelon at $2. I don't know if I will be able to tackle the rest of these by the end of this month. And since we are already at um, the kind of the end, end, end part of this month, what I'm gonna do is again, you are the boss when it comes to your saving. I'm gonna go ahead and transition this over to a $1 saving. So this one's gonna be kind of a mystery catch all. I'm gonna basically add some, but I'm gonna knock them out as $1 for the purpose of this one. And then we'll see how much we can tackle. So let me see what kind of money I have. And let me see real quick what I still have left. So I have one icon on that one. That one was just mine. I've got one scratcher on that one. Okay, so let me do, let me do this actually. So I'm gonna come right back to Kimmy and, and the reason for it is because whatever I have left, I'm gonna just throw it all into her challenge. This right here was another one from Ali Bear Budgets. I only have one icon left. Last week, if you remember, we knocked out the rest of these $2 icons. And then on this one, we only have the mini left over, which is $1. Let me go ahead and knock that out and we will wrap up these two challenges, okay? So I have $1 here for this mini. Let me go ahead and cross out the cute little mini here. Let's see how much we have in our envelope now for these two challenges we have officially done. We'll ring the bell, ding, ding, ding. And then let's go ahead and count our money. So we've got 20, 30, 35, 36, $37 saved between these two challenges. That is amazing, 37 total. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a paper clip. And I think what I'll do too is I'm gonna add the amount here somewhere just so I know that it was 37. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one into my uh, money envelope here that is gonna add a, towards the end of the month. We've got only one other one in there. My goal is to definitely get some more taken care of. So let me put this aside and we'll continue on. Okay, so I know I have a ton of other summer freebies from Alex, but because I want to definitely try to wrap these up by the end of this month, I'm not gonna do any more, but definitely check out Ali Bear Budgets. You see all, these are just freebies I had printed from her. Um, you definitely wanna check her out because she has some really cute stuff and she does have a ton of freebies. I think she's on her road to 1,000 subscribers. So she's got a lot of fun giveaways and things. Definitely check it out, lots of freebies and things. Um, this was one of mine. We'll come back to this. This will be definitely the last thing that I work on since this was just mine. This was from the Olympics, but um, I'll come back to that later. Um, and so the next one I have is from Ali Bear Budgets. And again, this was one that I turned into a savings challenge by adding scratchers and numbers to a dashboard. This was the dashboard for all of those other patriotic digitals that I had purchased. Let's go ahead and scratch a number um, and see what we get. And then we will uh, probably finish, definitely finish this one out next week. So I'm gonna just go ahead and scratch a number here seven okay that one was a little spicy so we've got a five six seven so we've got five six seven on this one so let me go ahead and see what's in this envelope so far so we've got 20 25 30 31 32 dollars so far on this one now we have one more scratcher left this will definitely get finished next week and so that's where we're at with that one. Again, that was Ali Bear Budgets. And I just have these thrown loosely in the back because they were large. They're a five size challenges and I have an A6 binder. I do want to make some more progress with this one. This one is Bobby, who is Canadian Finance Journey. Now, um, this one was an, a group play that she had sent out. And so I definitely want to, if I don't finish this, I'm gonna transition this over for sure to my fall binder because I definitely want to continue. Um, she had sent me this, this real beautiful challenge. It's really large. And then she also did send me a birthday challenge. Again, my birthday was this summer. And so let's go ahead and scratch one of these and then we'll go back to Kimmy's challenge and we'll see what we can finish off. So I'm going to just scratch off a number here and we got a three. Okay. Now I don't have any ones. I have two fives. So let me see if I have enough to make change in here. It looks like I do. 
So I do, I have some twos. So I'm gonna go ahead, and, since it was three, I'm gonna take back a two and add in a five. Okay, so now I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars total in this one. So we are moving along. I do not think I will be able to finish this by next week. So what I will do is I will just uh, transfer this over to my sum, uh, fall binder if for some reason I do not get to finish. But that's where we're at right now. So let's go ahead and move back to Kimmy's uh, challenge. And so I have seven dollars here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat these watermelons uh, as $1 um, watermelons. And so we're gonna knock out seven of them with this money and then we'll see how much we can knock out next week. So I think what I'll do is I'll even do them a different color just to kind of indicate that they were $1 I transitioned. So let me go ahead and color seven of these and I'll be right back. Okay, I think these are cute. I like these little teal watermelons. Okay, so that's where we're at with that one. Again, that's Kimmy from Bayesian Girl Budgets. Here's where we, I'm gonna add in the $7. Let's see what we have total so far. So we've got 20, 25, 26, 27, 29, $31 total. So even though we transitioned from two to $1, we're still making some really good savings. Um, and I have still, what, 15, $16 that we can add to this one maybe next week and knock this one out completely, which will have some really great savings. So that's all I have for my summer binder. I hope you enjoyed that. I I certainly did we saved another fifty dollars here adding it into this binder um make sure you check out lil's channel i'll link her down below as well as all of the ladies that i showcased in this binder today and then make sure you check out my coffee shop to get some of the freebies that I'm sh i've showcased here as well as so many others so i've got tons of freebies in there check it out you won't be disappointed there's so many things in there i've got a couple different sizes of challenges you can get for free as well as some freebies for my my fellow crafters so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you got a little bit of inspiration good luck and best wishes on your financial freedom journey um thanks so much for watching everyone happy saving Thanks so much for visiting everyone. It's the first day of fall. So happy fall y'all. Thanks so much. Happy saving.